Hey guys and welcome back to the Japanese garden build. Um, last time we started mapping out the area, um, started playing around with some textures too. Um, the actual textures of the uh, blocks, as you can see, um, this is the mossy cobblestone which looks very beautiful. Um, I'm going to use it for the base of the river. Um, obviously going to put some standard um, cobblestone in here too. Ooh, there is a bit of a contrast. Um, to see what... What does that look like? Hmm, there's a bit of a contrast going on there too. Um, maybe I'll look a bit different when there's water in here. Who knows? But um, yeah, I'm really digging that. Okay, so let's continue plotting out um, the actual paths. So there's going to be a bridge there. Um, so let's just make this go along here, like so. And then I can fill that in here. Whoops. So as you can see, the water is going to be flowing into this bridge. Um, these are going to be the four pillars of the bridge. Um, so you pretty much walk through here and you go up and then you go down. <laughs> you go up and then you go down. Okay, so let's continue this path along. And there's going to be a lot of uh, bushes in here. There's going to be shrubbery. There's going to be some trees too. Probably use the birch tree though because that looks kind of cool. The birch tree is nice. Okay, that's the path. So let's make a start on this building here. Yeah, let's go for it. So let's get some wood. Let's get the birch planks, uh, the birch slabs. Um, any other type of birch? Nope. And oh yeah, and um, we want to get some more of these. So if we go up in the center like so and bring it out. Oh, finally the Minecraft music kicks in. Okay, we want to go up a bit more. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, like these, like this. Um, let's do a bit of experimentating. Experimentating! What the hell does that word mean? Let's do some experimentating today! Okay, let's do that. Um, maybe that. Okay, let's try this. What am I doing that for? Okay, so I want to give the impression that the roof is coming out at the front here. Very Japanese-o style though. Okay, so we want to make this a bit taller. So let's put some planks in there. And then put that one here like so. And then pull. Put the corner piece out like that. Let's get rid of that one. Let's put the planks down here. And, and then like this and then bend that one around <clears throat> not too bad definitely room for improvement let's pull this out uh, this and then put the log back by here okay not too bad I could do it that definitely needs a bit more fixing though right so what should we talk about today what is on the cards let's talk about <clears throat> hmm, let's talk about let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. <laughs> let's talk about all the good things, all the bad things that baby They're so derpy. I know. Okay, let's go across here. Oh yeah, let's talk about some games I got. Um as you know I got a new computer now, so um I can make a lot better quality videos. But um my computer was delivered so late. Um, it was about three days late, and I specifically paid for 24-hour delivery. And uh, the computer was dispatched um, so late, and I was a bit annoyed, really, because um, it was affecting my YouTube stuff. So um, I ended up making a complaint to the actual company. I'm not going to say who the company is, because um, they compensated me quite well, so I can't really fault them for that. And, um, yeah, I actually paid £14... 50 for a 24 hour delivery on my computer and um, I got it from eBay actually there's a company on eBay that makes custom built computers and um, pretty much you tell them what you want in it and they'll piece it together for you but um, it was late and I was I sent them a message I was like guys you were late like you know I do YouTube and I, I'm a graphic web designer I need this so uh, they sent me a message saying oh we're, we're terribly sorry do you want to give us a ring and um, we, you know, we'll talk about this on the phone because you know you you paid for this to be delivered tomorrow, but it's like it's not even there yet. 
So I said, right, what can you give me to um, compensate for this late delivery? And they offered me an, a graphics card for my computer, but I was a bit... I was a bit like, why? Because this computer has got... Um, um, it doesn't have a dedicated graphics card in it. It's got that Intel HD 4000 in it, which is quite innovative because it's... Um, it's pretty much as powerful as a dedicated graphics card, but it's um, it's built in, so it's um, what would you call it? It's, um, an onboard graphics, but pretty much acts as though it is um, dedicated. So I, thought, I can't have a graphics card off you guys because um, you know the graphics card on the computer is fine, and plus um, I took the graphics card out of my old computer and I put in this too, but I get some problems with that at the minute. But that's my own fault. And uh, I said, have you got any games? And they, and they said, yes. And they said, would you like a copy of Arkham City? And I was like, well, that game's kind of old now, so I have no interest in playing that. And I said, right, we've got um, a copy of Far Cry 3. And I was like, right, I'm having it. I'm having Far Cry 3. And they were like, okay, we'll send you a copy of Far Cry 3. And I was like, is there any way you can do it on Steam? Because, um, you know, I could just pretty much download it straight away then, can't I? This is me pushing the boat a bit with them. But they were like, "Yeah, give us your email address, and we'll send you know we'll send you the details for it." So um, I give them my email address, and uh, let's try half slabs on here. I give them my email address. Whoops. I'm here and here. It's kind of cool. I sent them my email address, and then they sent me an email then saying, "Oh, we've decided to give you a couple of games," and I was like, "Tell me more." And they were like, "Right, well." We offered you Arkham City, but you said you wanted Far Cry, so um, here is a code for Far Cry 3, a gift code. All you have to do is put it in um, the Ubisoft website, and um, basically the game would just download for you. So I put it in the Ubisoft uh, website, and I downloaded Far Cry 3 as compensation for late delivery on my computer. So I was ecstatic, but I started scrolling down the email they sent me, because they said we'll send you games. And to my surprise, they sent me a gift code for a copy of Sleeping Dogs, uh, which I recently started playing. I was going to do a Let's Play on it, but there's so much saturation of that on YouTube at the moment, so um, I'm just going to give that a miss, really, and um, not put it on YouTube. Just play it at my own pleasure. I really do love uh, Japanese RPGs. They are amazing. <clears throat> More logs. So, uh, yeah, I've got a copy of... Um, um, Sleeping Dogs, which I'm currently playing through at the moment, and I absolutely love it. I love it. Japanese RPGs are amazing. I used to play a game called Shenmue years ago uh, for the Sega Dreamcast, and that game was absolutely fantastic too. Absolutely amazing. This needs to go up a bit more. It needs to be very, very steep. Yeah, so um, I started scrolling down the email again. And they also gave me a gift code on Steam for Hitman Absolution, which is not the best game in the world. Um, I have played the old Hitman games, which I do enjoy. And um, yeah, they gave me a, a gift code for Hitman Absolution. So I downloaded it. I haven't played it. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I'm really I'm not interested in doing it. So I'm tempted to do a competition in future to... Um, uh, get rid of Hitman Absolution, and they also gave me a copy of. Wait for it. They gave me a copy of um, Medal of Honor Warfighter, the Deluxe Edition. So I'm kind. Of, so now I'm like, wow, you were spoiling me. This is like 120 pounds worth of gains. 120, 130 pounds worth. And I'm kind of like, I'm in that mindset now where I'm like, I really should complain about stuff a bit more. Because <laughs> they always say us Brits don't complain about anything, really. We're just like, yeah, whatever. You know, and just let people walk over us. Which is probably quite true. Why did I just get seeds from that? Weird. Yeah, so I should really start complaining a bit more. Especially I'm gonna, if I'm going to get all these freebies. Which, in my opinion, is freaking amazing. Okay build this out here. <clears throat> okay, this is definitely becoming a lot more Japanesey to me. I mean, the shape of the roof needs to be time set zero. It needs to be like a witch's hat. It needs that sort of really inward sort of swoop sort of curve. 
Okay, let's join this up here. Here and here. Uh, can we do the same? Whoop! Wrong way around. And here and do the same here. No, this needs to come out more. Let's do that. Place that one here. Hmm. So as you can see, I'm just building as I'm going along. Really, I haven't really planned this because I think, I think when you make stuff like this, you get you tend to get good results just playing around. There we go. There. And whoops. Whoa! I'm breaking this like crazy. There. There, and then piece that together like that. Okay, that is definitely looking Japanese. That is definitely looking Oriental. Okay, so as we just learnt from that, we need to bring this side out more like so. And then like so, like that, and just keep coming around. Oh, I'm so excited for this build. Such a good idea. Thank you, Maz. It is my pleasure, Mr. Davis. I am glad I have inspired you to create such an epic build. Okay, so something that just came to mind just then is maybe to add supports like like in the corners, like here. But I think that's too far out. Yeah, that's way too far out. Let's try here. But my mind is telling me to use stone for the supports. So let's try let's put stone let's put stone bricks there. And let's get some of this. And then let's put some smooth stone and have a look. <clears throat> the smooth stone kind of looks cool. There's little bits of cracks in it. I think the stone bricks are a bit too perfect, to be honest. As you can see, they're very sharp. Hmm. So, we're going to go with the cobblestone for now. If I change my mind, um, I'll just change it later on. So, we're going to put some supports right here. That's going to look beautiful. And possibly the same here. I may fill this in by here. Not too sure yet. It's very early on in the build at the moment. I can't really make executive decisions on such a thing. Okay, so we've got the supports. It's looking nice. A lot more detail needs to be put on here. I, I can really... I, I can tell that it needs a bit more detail. This roof needs to be raised up. Can't use that. Let's put... What the hell? Give me a square block. Here. And here. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I think that's as oriental as it's going to get at the moment. Um, if anything comes to mind, I will be coming back to this, guys. Okay, so let's make a start on the first bridge at the front. And hopefully my keyboard won't die again just like that. Okay, so we're going to make... Hmm, let's go with the darker wood on this one. So let's get the spruce. And then the spruce half slabs. We'll keep the cobblestone though. May actually replace this wood with cobblestone. Okay, so we need steps on here, like so. Lovely. And then here and here and then put slabs along here. I'm really looking forward to getting to the decorating stage on here. I'm really, really starting to go into Minecraft interior design. Stuff like that. Hmm. Cobblestone maybe here. Yeah, let's go with the cobblestone. I can always change it. I'm just going with what's coming out of my mind right now. <clears throat> right. I think I just made a boo-boo. No, I didn't. I didn't make a boo-boo. Okay, so let's get some gravel now. Where is this gravel? Let's just put that here. Okay, so let's just start working roughly on this path. Get in wood! That shouldn't happen in creative mode. Okay, so we want this to be quite random. Um, I usually make L shapes like that. Because um, the normal, the, the vanilla Minecraft um, texture for gravel has a lot of L shapes in it, so I try to just draw L's when I'm doing stuff like that. 
That kind of fits in. To see what the, the cobblestone looks like in it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Okay, well, we need a gravel here. That is really, really lovely. I like that. I like it. Okay, so let's continue over on this side. So, we want to draw an L shape. Then we want a couple of random diagonals. Like here, maybe. See, that L can't work there. Hmm. And then put some cobblestone down here. Once you put the cobblestone in, you can feel like spaces like that, which are like not quite right. And you can just drop one in. Um, obviously another one by here too. That's kind of cool, yeah. I'm liking that. Um, I think I'm going to use a different um, texture pack on each of these builds. I'm probably going to... Oh, wrong steps. I'm probably going to do a bit of research on texture packs. Um, and see which ones work quite well for the idea. I think this one works quite well for the Chinese idea. Uh, the, I mean the Japanese garden. Sorry, Chinese idea. What am I talking about? And see here... Ding, 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 ding. And then we're going to go with the cobblestone once again by here. It looks very nice and natural. I do like this. I don't like breaking stuff, though. This is coming along rather ding-dong. Um, I can I can imagine a birch tree being right by here and a bench, possibly. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to start putting a curve on the path here. And start bringing it around. We're going to leave that for the moment, though. Um, this work on... See, this was going to be a path coming out of here, but... I can't really do that now. Unless I just make this into a pond section, which would be kind of cool. And then probably... Yeah, so... If I bring this out a little bit here... Um, there could be a fence section here, so you can just look out from here and then go back in and then go around. Um, these need to be arched. Most definitely need to be arched right by here. And then maybe a slab. Bravo, dear sirs. Okay, so this, yeah, this is going to be a pond section by here that just runs like underneath. Um, when I do ponds, I like to think of like a large kidney shape. And um, sort of try and pattern that out. I like a figure of eight, but obviously one of the zeros being a bit smaller. That's how I like to, you know, sort of uh, imagine these ponds being. Ooh, and I just noticed that we went over time. So uh, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to call this video um, a good, a good one, <laughs> finished. And uh, we'll be back in part three, guys. So thanks for watching um, Juicy Builds on the, uh, the Japanese peaceful garden and i shall be seeing you next time make sure you hit that subscribe button if you've enjoyed this and you want to see the next part and uh thanks for watching guys and peace out